You know, there's a very important person in the Bible. And his name is Joshua. And there's a whole Old Testament, I should say, Tanakh book that describes the conquest of the land of Canaan. And he is at the center of all this. And he succeeded Moshe Rabbeinu. And in this book, the book of Yehoshua, Joshua, there is a, a, a brief prologue. Then Yehoshua or Joshua is introduced. Then the book launches into narratives about the military and their victories as they drove the Canaanites out of the land and took the promised land. Then we see his strategy and how he struck in central Canaan by taking the city of Jericho supernaturally. Then he launched rapid attacks in the south and in the north and uh, thereby the people of God were given a foothold and the enemy's position was weakened. And then we see these other attacks against them during the next several years. And we see the division of the land among the 12 tribes. And finally, there's the end where the death of Joshua and the renewal of the covenant with his final charge. So this book is extremely important. The book of Joshua covers about 25 years. These specific years must have been around 1400 to 1375. And we find out in this book that true religion and false religion does not mix. And his orders are given to destroy the Canaanites because of their pagan and immoral worship practices. Unfortunately, they weren't totally subdued or destroyed. And there are traces of their false religion left to tempt the Israelites. And again and again throughout the history of the Hebrew people, we see the uh, the worship of the one true God being under attack by these holdovers from the Canaanite pagan religions. So we know that there was victory in the camp until Achan took what was harem. And we find out the supernatural way that the perpetrator was ferreted out. It's a Tanakh version of a word of wisdom. How could you possibly know who had done this unless God showed you? Actually, I think you would call that a devar das. Now, this Joshua is actually a type of the Messiah. You say, where do you get that? 
Well, when you get to chapter 42, verse 6, I, Hashem, have called thee in Tzedek. It will take hold of thine hand. It will keep thee and give thee for a bris, a covenant of the people, for an or goyim, a light for the nations, to, to open the enayim evrot, the blind eyes, to bring out the captives from confinement, and them that sit in Hoshek out of the base kele, the prison house, the dungeon. So we see this servant of the Lord who is himself the covenant. And he said, this is the covenant in my blood. And we see him bringing out the captives from confinement. Chapter 42, verse 7 of Isaiah. That's what Joshua did. So Moshiach, the servant of the Lord, is the new Joshua. Then when you go from chapter 42 to 49, you see... I will preserve thee, I will give thee for a breach arm to raise up Eretz, to reapportion desolate Nahalot inheritances. And that's exactly what he does. And if you are a believer, you know about that wonderful inheritance that we have which is the new self. Behold, all things have become new. The old self is gone. If anyone is in Moshiach, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. It is no longer I who live. The old me is gone. But Moshiach, Ben David, who lives in me and the life I live, I live by faith in the in the Zunfundereibishter who loved me and gave himself for me. His nepesh was in travail that my nepesh could escape that travail. He is my proxy my substitute, my tevura. Lord, I want to pray that someone will receive the Lord tonight. Oh God, I want to pray for these breed out of shahs, that they will go to the ends of the earth. I thank you, Lord, that the YiddishBible.net is now on page one of Google for Yiddish Bible. And I thank you for the Google search in, uh, search engine optimization that was done in New Zealand. And oh God, we thank you that you've raised up an army in four continents to help us do this. Oh God, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you all the glory. Moshiach ben Dovid, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Take control of my life. And I will serve you and follow you all the days of my life. Amen.